all the prisoners? Where did they go? The Magister Spirit looks up at you from a tortured face. His eyes are filled with pain and terror, and his hands grasp tight to each other, clenching and clenching, harder and harder. In this, this, this dingy hole, to, 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 to end my days, here, where I once toiled, but oh how I prayed for an end the end. And I'm still praying! For the glory of Lucian, there is no task unworthy. Here we turned out abominations into servants of the Lord. And the more p powerful the sorcerer, the better the geist they make. All the better to serve him. For him we pray always. are the hand. You are the hand that hurts, the hand that kills, the hand that bleeds them dry. You are the hand that listens to Magister Timort's head. You are the foot. You are the foot that aches to run away, the foot that remembers the feel of grass underfoot so long ago. You are the foot that listens to Magister Timort's heart. the Magisters are doing with her. A creature that powerful? Grooming her, probably. Send her after the young to spread Dallas's lies. Maybe. I guess the Lawmaster will figure it out. Stay back. It's for your own good. Hmm. Found the undead freak here already chained up by the Magisters. They say she's a witch. I say. Her voice freezes into a harsh whisper. I say she's a demon. Damn right. Lucian spoke of creatures like this Windigo. They spread their black magic to our children with songs and stories. Makes me sick. Our little ones, tools of demons. You know this... this trickster? Oh, well, go on then. Probably doesn't matter who breaks her, so long as she gets broken. 
Just keep your head on straight. She'll try to make nice. Creep into your thoughts. Keep her out of there, all right? Go on, be safe. Go ahead, but be... Stand back there. The Magister's made a stand here and whisper. It's a waste of time! Hundred escapees. We would have known. According to this, five hundred and sixty four prisoners are unaccounted for. Maybe they were shipped to Fort Joy. Not according to this. Besides, they weren't sorcerers.
That undead witch. Heard her talking about some kind of covenant. That's the demon's way. They give out promises like sweets. You're in the weak. Don't listen to what she says. Her evil is slithering to your brain. How did you...? Yes. I miss him. I miss us. No one touched me, so... Stop! Stop! You answer to me! I do not have to... Any more interruptions today? Give me room, lizard. Your heart seeps through your every pore. Come closer. Let me soothe you. She cradles her head in her hands, then pivots towards the prisoner. Her mouth opens, yet nothing spills forth. No sermon, no screed, no threat. She turns back to you and grimaces. Spark's been snuffed. I trust you come bearing gold or godhood for me to have interrupted such a sensitive interrogation. What led to this freak's imprisonment is a mystery as unsolved as the void itself. We found her already caged, cursing the magisters with hexes vulgar enough to turn even a dwarf's cheeks red. The evil is strong in her. Her words are soaked in it. They squirm into your mind, planting warm memories you've never had, mesmerizing you with candy-sweet sights and scents. Visions of Windigo's attack on the vessel sailing to Fort Joy fill your head. You look to the cell, and your memories contort and coil. Windigo cradles you in her arms, stroking your head as the waves crash around you. I'm sorry, Buttercup. I was bewitched by his promise. Forgive me. You shake your head and the vision is gone. Your eyes rest not on the prisoner, but on the paladin. You underestimate her. You'd have me stand idle as she raises arcs to the ground. In that moment, you hear music, a lullaby. You glance at the cage. Windigo stands silent. You squint and shiver until the melody no longer echoes in your ears.
I... I understand. Perhaps you are as dangerous to her as she is to us. There can be no success without risk. I will give you the space you need, then. May Lucian be your guide. Things are under control, for now. step up to the cell to look at the skeleton you know to be Wendigo. The barrier mutes her source, but it isn't her source you fear, but something more, a shadow. She says nothing, but you still hear her words. An unexpected pleasure for both of us, I'm sure. She looks to the nearby device, and an urge engulfs you, an urge to power down the device to release Wendigo from her cell. Her mouth remains closed, yet her voice settles in your mind like a damp fog. There are others, his chosen, yet I am no longer among them. They seek what you seek, the hammer. I am ready to share what I know. The God King rejoices as long as I am chained. Free me, and we might hobble him. The voice is gone. Windigo is still. You reach your hand towards the device, and your inner source is stifled, as if you'd never rid yourself of that cursed collar. After a bit of tinkering, the machine whines pitifully, and the shield surrounding the cell flickers off. Come to me, sweet She steps forward, slowly but confidently. She holds out her hands, bony palms up. They emit no fire, no ice, no curse. The God King no longer grants me his favour. Mask ripped from me and flesh flayed to bone, because the God Woken still walks Rivalon. Now he's chosen another. I should hate you for what you've done to me. Hate you for the hell I've lived. But I hate him so, so much more. He loved me when I was useful. He cast me out when you failed to die. Go to the new Chosen. See that he suffers. See that the God King suffers. In your name and in mine. The Covenant, it sounds... sounded so beautiful. Eternity right there at my fingertips. Yet it's all a lie. There is no grand reward, no enduring prosperity. Just slavery within the void. The rule of a hellish hand. I was so naive. The God King told me I was special. He came close and then closer still. Hearing him, feeling him, it was like crashing over a cliff and having him catch me over and over. I failed him. You just wouldn't die. Of all his punishments, the harshest was the emptiness, the lack of him. I thought if I could just regain his affection, I might taste it again. Linda Kim. The God King's current beloved. No more skin in his real bones than on a peeled jackfruit. And it is not only his ear the God King whispers into. The dwarf called Isbel. She bends to the King's every whim. If you want to get to the God King, you go through Linderkem. You topple his Tower of Lies. No, oh, the God King's special boy. 
It wasn't difficult to figure out, I assure you. I came seeking Dallas. Kem wants her, too, as anyone could tell you. I crashed one of Lady Kem's little tea parties, did a little snooping. The void's vapor there was plain as night to me. You'd suppose we should work as one, but no. The God King loves to play his game of favorites. Kem was promised a place at the table, and he's doing what he must to secure it. Alone. Oh, oh honey. The God Woken rests in a bed made only of lies. Did you expect him to offer God Woken his calling card and invite them to meetings? Still, the signs are there. A once loving husband now estranged from his confused wife. A disciple of Lucian now eagerly stoking the fires of mutiny and discord within the Order. If you want to truly see, you must look past the facade. You'll find it rather flimsy, I think. Yes, her. Goodness, how could I not? Her work on Black Peak Isle is legendary, or so she tells it at least. The King has an eye for the arrogant. They make such valuable stewards as they clamor for his favor, as I well know. I can't say for certain, but I bet you could simply sniff her out. She's got quite a nose for the fetid. Find the foulest pile of shit you can, and she'll be wallowing in the middle. The God King. He said if I could find Dallas, eliminate her, I could take my place by his side again. But Kem, he doesn't like competition. All it took was a few whispers. They spread to the Magisters quickly. The Magisters, they've got ways of silencing Source. They knew exactly what to do. The Paladins, well, when they found me, they'd no idea what to make of me. I go to Kem, or his estate, rather. He's got a sworn breaker size. It'll free me from the Covenant. I'd be mortal, yes, but no longer a slave. This creature, this monster, would have seen us drowned at sea. Kill her. If the God King has truly abandoned her, then this is our chance to slay her once and for all. Windigo has done nothing before to earn my trust. This changes nothing. Neither of us are inclined to mercy. Let's make the most of this moment, shall we? Before you go, I have something for you. Something I learned. A touch of void, if you will. Windigo pauses. She doesn't speak the next words, yet you hear them as clearly as a robin's song. Goodbye, Godwoken.
According to this, 564 prisoners are unaccounted for. Arks thanks you, stranger. Your prowess on the field is already legendary. Be careful, or we'll claim you as our own. I like my men the way I like my cheese. Mature! Visitors than last year, I reckon. Brave of them to make the trip. Why, well, my lady, you smell divine. Do you eat your Well, hello, handsome. Care to hear about the power of cheese? I've got wheels and rounds and blocks and rolls and possibly more. But my wares are nuanced with undertones of something rare. She looks you up and down, then... What's on my mind? Hmm. Why, texture, maturity, taste. But most of all, I'm wondering what tickles your fancy. Looking at you, I think it may be power. Am I right? So I have not misjudged you. Now, we've established how you feel about power. How do you feel about law? Specifically laws relating to property and the acquisition of goods. Hmm? A glint appears in her eye, and she smiles. Then she raises her hands and shows you her rings. Perhaps this is the power you seek. I've been waiting for the right customer to come along for these, but I warn you, power doesn't come cheap. Even for someone as attractive as you. I have my little helpers, here, there, and everywhere. They find me the finest morsels in all of Arcs. After all, why should the most delectable of foodstuffs grace only the tables of the nobility? Very well. You can find my helpers, the Thieves' Guild, within the Ark sewers, in their so-called secret hideout. Here, I'll mark it for you. But approach carefully. The foul stench is hardly the sewer's gravest danger. So, this is what a magister does all day. Walk the streets. Divine. Do you eat cheese? Keep an eye out for magisters, but be careful. They're cornered and desperate. They say the Divine withers our lands to save Rivalon. I see he is successful. Good council school, temporarily closed.
the doctor sends his ill wishes. You killed his advocate. Now you must pay!
If there's a Magister still free in this... This school was teeming with students just a year ago. Everything changed so fast. And it's the kids that suffer. What's this? I found something. The spirit of a magister stands before you. He has one hand pressed to his abdomen. Silvery spectral blood oozes from between his fingers. It shouldn't hurt anymore, but it does. I swear it does. Tell me, have you seen a magister named Wainslow? Stout fella, a little loud. He helped me escape when the paladins attacked. I'd hate to think any harm came to him. Dead? Damn it! Damn it to the void! Wainslow deserved better than that. I don't rightly know. The paladins came, intent on ransacking the barracks. The fighting started so quickly. Before I knew it, I was wounded, and Wainslow was hauling me away. He said he'd come back soon, and we could escape into the sewers. But that was the last I saw of him. Wainslow and I came across it while we were looking into some inmates who went missing from the prison. I doubt anyone will figure out what happened to them now. I don't think the Paladins care about that kind of thing. The statue reaches toward the sky, as though preparing to take flight. The bottom drops out from within you. She lifts you up, up, up.
Godwoken, how can I help? I'll do what I do best. It's a city at a cross. It's from arcs that the divide. Do not, however, assume that every paladin offers safe. Go with honor. bring me to such wonderfully destructive places. I'll never find somewhere quiet to settle down at this rate. I would have preferred a more discreet arrival in Arxman. I was stationed here for a short time. There was a strong magister presence back then. The large barracks, the jail. The whites were based there too, but their dealings were a mystery to me. You must truly savor my company, Godwoken. Something you want? Could you rush perfection? It will be ready when it's ready.
Tarquin's jaw tightens. I dabble in all forms of learning, necromancy included. Can you really blame me for being talented? Can you really blame me when I'm forced to use my skills against my will? Dallas willed it, and I was in no position to refuse. She wanted to use Brachis to sniff out the Aetiran, to use a tyrannical king as a personal bloodhound, so she could get her hands on the most powerful purging device the world's ever seen. She thinks she can control him. She is wrong. A creature like him will find a way to break his shackles. He must be eradicated. That's why I sought the pieces of Anathema. It's the only thing that can slay him. What could possibly best the greatest act of necromancy ever performed? Reversing it. That's what. Here, take Anathema and keep it close. Without it, you are nothing to Brachis. You must truly savor my company, Godwoken. Something. Oh, come now. Warriors for hire, all seasoned in combat. They won't let you down.
having extra help in a fight. I'll guarantee you that. Mages, archers, all willing to fight by your side if the price is right. companion you need, I can provide. Expert warriors for hire, all seasoned in combat. They won't let you down. I have fire, but you can't put a price on the glory they'll win.
regretted having extra help in a fight. I'll guarantee you that. Allies for hire. I've got sword fighters, mages, archers, all willing to fight by your side if the price is right. You must truly savor my company, Godwoken. Something you wanted? Take a look at what I've been working on. Go on. <laughs> 